Okay, what value can be digit B and have it make the four digit number three six sorry one three six B divisible by fifteen? Well fifteen, uh, to be divisible by fifteen it has to um, be divisible by three and five, right? Because three and five both go into fifteen, that's the prime factorization. Um, so right away we can eliminate all the values of B other than zero and five, right? So that deals with the divisibility rules by 5. So then 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 is not divisible by uh, 3 because you add it now. Anyways. Now if I add 5 to it, I get 15. So then it would be divisible by 5. So B must be 5. All right, a loan of $300 is given for half a month. If Brad is charged $45 in interest, what is the annual rate of this loan? Express your answer as a percent. All right, so this is going to be a big, big number. Um, if I were you and uh, I was pressed for time, I would not do this problem because it would take a little bit uh, longer. But uh, we're going for perfect scores, so here we go. All right. So uh, we need to figure out his annual interest, right? So if half a month is charged $45, in one month he'll be charged 90 right? So then the next question, oh, actually maybe it's not so bad. So then um, there are 12 months in a year, right? So you multiply this by 12. Now 9 times uh, 12 is uh, 108, right? So it would be 1,080. And so then, what percent of, and I'm going to cheat here in the interest of not watch, having to watch me do this. So then we have 80 divided by 300, and I get 3.6. So as a percent, you have to move the decimal place over. Oh my gosh. You have to move the decimal place over two, so that's 360%. That is highway robbery, folks. <laughs> That, that is like the check cashing places. Never, never go to check cashing places if you can help it. All right, so again, that's 360%. Seven friends sat at a, in a circle. How many ways can all the friends be seated around the circle? All right, so if I have a circle, so there are seven people who can sit here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, right? So. The uh, easiest thing to do would be to uh, multiply that out, right? But that's not going to get us the answer, I don't, I don't think. So, 6 factorial, oh, here we go. Uh, 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6. 4 factorial is 24, uh, 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720, and 7 factorial, I don't know off the top of my head, so you go 720 times, oh, well, what's it called? 720, uh, 7, right? Not, uh, who knows? So then uh, the thing here is, uh, since it's a circular table, you know, it's possible that this person ended up here. This person, and you can rotate it, right? So if I take this whole piece and rotate it, that's the same seating arrangement, right? But my seven, six, five, four, three, two, one doesn't take that into account. So what, what am I going to have to do? Well, I'm going to have to divide. Okay, I lost. I want to rotate. There we go. Um, so I'm going to have to divide all the possibilities by 7, right? So it's going to be 7 factorial divided by 7, which is just 6 factorial. So it's going to be 720 because 5040 divided by 7 is 720 or 6 factorial. A coin is tossed four times. This is a probability of at least two heads tossed. Supposed to answer count fraction. Now, the thing is, we already did. Uh, uh, three coins. So the smart thing to do would be to take that drawing from the first page and make another one, right? Or uh, just add another stem to it. But since I stupidly erased it, I will start from the beginning. 
so then I like this song. Um, so here we go. So we have heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. So that's three, and we'll do the fourth heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. Heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, right? So now let's highlight the paths that have um, at least two heads, right? That's probably that of at least two heads. Well, this is at least two heads. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that's it. So I have eleven different ways of getting it. And so it, then it's asking for the what is the probability? So it's going to be eleven over. Uh, how many different ways? Uh, f 2 to the 4th is 16. So there you have it. Use the scratch work first, maybe. It'd be a little quicker. Okay, really, country? Um, what is the area of a right angle, right triangle, whose side lengths are 12, 26, and 32? Um, now, here's the thing. We know the longest is the hypotenuse. And it says it's right angle, so it's just 12 times 26 divided by 2. Now I'm going to reduce that, so that's 13, right? So 12 times 13 is, um, oh, is it 156, I think? Let's see if that's right. So 12 times 13, yeah, 156, and that's it. Yep, it is 156. All right, find the smallest positive integer. Uh, that one divided by 2, 5, and 10 results in a two digit palindrome. Ugh. All right. Two digit palindrome. All right. So it has to be divided by 2, 5, and 10. So 2, 5, and 10. So it has to be an even that ends in a 0. So, uh, right? So, <coughs> so if we're dividing by all those numbers, it has to be have a zero at the end. So really, you're only looking at, you know, 50, that doesn't work, 60, that doesn't work, 70, no. So we know it's going to be a three-digit number, right? So let's do three-digit numbers that end in a zero. Let's, let's, and we'll do this in groups of four or five because it's, you know. So then uh, the next thing we do, let's divide this by two. So that's divided by two is 55. Hey, that's a palindrome. And this divided by 10 is 11. Hey, guess what? That's a palindrome, too. And then uh, divided by 5, I'm willing to bet that's going to be a palindrome as well, right? 22, it is. So our answer is 110, 110. You can play country, that's OK. All right. <laughs> Melanie wanted to choose two of the seven Harry Potter books to take on a trip. Personally, my favorite two are Half-Blood Prince and uh, Deathly Hallows, but I'm just saying. Uh, how many different choices does Melanie have if the order doesn't matter? No, the order doesn't matter because it doesn't matter if it's Half-Blood Prince and uh, Deathly Hallows or Deathly Hallows and Half-Blood Prince. The order doesn't matter. So this is a combination. So there are less options. So, uh, so we have... 7C2 equals 7 factorial over, oh, so it's n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial, right? So this is going to be 5 factorial, 2 factorial. So you have 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over, or 5 factorial, 2 factorial, which is 2, right? So then 
that, let's cancel that, divided by that, so that's 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. So there should be... But of course the answer says 42. So I'm getting, I'm getting 21. Um, the answer key says 18, or 42, because it's, that'd be a permutation. But in a permutation, order does matter. So I'm wondering if there's a typo on the answer key. All right, how many diagonals does a pentagon have? Now the, the easiest way to do it is have, you, know, you can draw it out. But there's an equation here. So. Um, it, when, if ever faced with I don't know what to do type problem like this, you can draw it out. So this has two diagonals, so four sides has two, right? So three sides has, it's so not going to work so well, right? So five sides. So let's be honest, how many people did this? One, two, three, four, five. And that one counts, right? So, we should have six diagonals, right? Or, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. I'm getting six. Why? Oh, because that's already a side, right? So I'm getting five. So the question is, what is the equation for this, right? And so I'll, I'll come back to that equation. I forget off the top of my head. So find the area of an isosceles trapezoid uh, whose bases measure 5, 21, and whose legs measure 10. All right, so we know that this is 5. So 5 minus, no, 21 minus 5 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8, so that's 8. This is 8. This is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, right? So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 5 divided by 2 is 5. 3, so this is going to be 6, right? So the area of a trapezoid is equal to 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. Essentially, you're making a parallelogram out of this. And then uh, by making an identical trapezoid here. Oh, come on, no, why? That's not what I want. Turn that off. So you're taking an identical uh, parallelogram. So, anyways, and then you only have half this, so you divide it by 2. So we have 5 plus 21 times 6 divided by 2. 5 plus uh, 26 times 6 divided by 2, that's 13. So 13 times 6, 18 carry the 1, so it's 78. Oh, I skipped 20, I'm sorry. So 20, all 26 letters in the alphabet are written on separate uh, cards. The cards are shuffled and five cards are drawn at random. What is the probability of all five cards drawn Oh, what is the probability of all five cards drawn are vowels? That's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Well, <laughs> where, are, where are the odds of the first one being a vowel? Well, we have five vowels. One, two, three, four, five. I have 26. The next one, we have four vowel vowels out of 25 times three vowel vowels over 24. Uh, then we have three, sorry, two vowels over 23. One vowel, one vowel out of 22. So then you go through and reduce because in this you're not going to have calculators, right? So that's going to be a 6, right? That's a 3. That's a 2. Well, that cancels out right there, right? 
So we have 1 in the numerator, and then you have to multiply 26 times 5 times 23 times 22. And now obviously you just have to plug and chug through it. I think this, this uh, test doesn't really have hard problems, it just has really long problems. And there you go, 1 out of 6, 5, 7, 8, 0. So there you have it.